Welcome to Tappity. I'm Haley, your friendly adventure guide. Together, we'll your child's name will make the app feel like it's made just for them. Your child's age lets us tailor the difficulty level to their grade. We add all kinds of great new content every week with push notifications, and that's all. Welcome to Tappity. Let the adventures begin. We've been waiting for you. I'm Steve Bot, at your service. Start by tapping on any of the glowing stories. Insert your ticket to go on a tour of pollination. Ah, oh, such a beautiful field of flowers. But how did all of them get here? Well, it turns out that plants grow from seeds, which are kind of like baby plants. In order to make these seeds, plants use a process called pollination. And that's what we're going to explore today. Let's shrink our sows down so we can follow that bee up close and personal. Whoa, everything looks so big. Bees love flowers. See all the yellow powder? That's the pollen, and it's the stuff that makes you sneeze. And more importantly, it's the stuff plants use to make seeds. Let's go even closer. We're now on stamen, which is the male part of the plant, and is where pollen gets made. But just like with animals, most flowering plants need two parents to make a seed. So let's complete step one of pollination, gathering pollen, and then bring it on over to a second plant. Gather pollen by rubbing the legs of the bee. Rub them legs! Nice work, Explorer! Off we go! <coughs> bee, 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 we're following, we're following a, bee, a bee, a super, a super cool, cool fancy, fancy fluttering, fluttering bee. bee. Oh, there's a fine looking flower. Let's dive in. Step two of the pollination process is called depositing pollen. So let's drop off the pollen we've gathered into the female part of the plant, known as the pistil. Rub the bee's legs to deposit the pollen. Rub them legs! Bees aren't the only pollinators out there, you know. Butterflies, wasps, ants, birds, beetles, and even bats all help spread pollen. Great job! From here, the flower takes the pollen and combines it with something called an ovule in order to create a seed. Hypothesis is a scientific explanation that needs to be verified with evidence. Now let's make us a hypothesis! Once the seed is created, what do you think happens to it? Does it get eaten by animals? Stay inside the flower forever? Or walk away and plant itself? Let's go check out whether that hypothesis is true. Warning! Bear incoming! Cool! The bear ate the sunflower seeds. Part of the reason seeds are tasty is that they actually want to be eaten. You see, seeds can't move on their own, but they want to get planted. And animals are their own personal cars, or animars, as I like to call them. Go ahead and pet the bear. Science note. Please do not do this in real life. But at least all those seeds will have a new place to grow. Let's go in closer. Good old poop. Poop is actually a pretty great source of nutrients for seeds, so it works out for everyone, except the people who have to smell it. Poop is plant food! Here we are, back at the beginning. Pretty cool, isn't it? To think that all that happened from a little bit of pollen. Tappity challenge time! Tappity challenge time. Let's see what 
you've learned. Which of the following are pollinators? As they appear, move them to the left for pollinators or to the right for definitely not pollinators. Almost! Oh yeah! Right on target. Which of these is basically a little baby plant? Bears, flowers, or seeds? Oh yeah! Right on target. How are seeds spread to new areas? By poop, by pollinators, or by mail? Oh yeah! Right on target. Amazing! Clearly science is in your blood. Nice job! This part of the app requires a parent. I've heard they're good at math and financial decisions. Hi parent! Check out our various plans. Each plan gives you full access to our content library 